These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. It's five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life, a new civilization, to boldly go where no man has gone before. I'll have you checkmated your next move. <laughs> have I ever mentioned you play a very irritating game of chess, Mr. Spock? Irritating? Ah, yes. One of your Earth emotions. Unless you people on the bridge start taking showers with your clothes on, my engines can pull us out of anything. A most annoying emotional episode. Smack right in the old eye. Oh, I'm sorry. In your case, it would be about here. The fact that my internal arrangement differs from yours, Doctor, pleases me no end. Simply to leave them there with a the medical Just team. children, 300 years old and more. I've already contacted Space Central. They'll send teachers, advisors. And truant officers, I presume. They'll be all right. You could see the alarm lights flashing from there, McCoy. Why didn't you tell me? Finally finished physical on you, didn't I? What am I, a doctor or a moon shuttle conductor? I jumped every time a light came on around here. I'd end up talking to myself. <laughs> Oh, my paws and whiskers. I'll be late. Explain. On this supposedly uninhabited planet, I just saw a large rabbit pull a gold watch from his vest and claim that he was late. I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer. It won't die. My golly, Jim, I'm beginning to think I can cure a rainy day. I suspect you're becoming more and more human all the time. Captain, I see no reason to stand here and be insulted. Doctor, do I understand him correctly? Are you casting me in the role of Satan? Not at all, Captain. Satan. Is there anyone on this ship who even remotely looks like Satan? I am not aware of anyone who fits that description, Captain. No, Mr. Spock, I didn't think you would. Thank you, lovely lady. You dance the white way. Thank you, kind I love you. However, I hate you. But I'm identical in every way with Alice 27. Yes, of course. That is exactly why I hate you. Because you are identical. Only this way can we be happy. Laddie, don't you think you should rephrase that? <laughs> Jim, I think I've got it. All we have to do is quit feeding them. We quit feeding them, they stop breeding. Now he tells me. Gave them to the Klingons. Aye, sir. Before they went into warp, I transported the whole kit and caboodle into the air engine room, where there'll be no trouble at all. <laughs> <laughs> Now. Isn't that logical? We reach, Mr. Spock. 